Hi everybody, this is Love Weave 2 and I'm coming to you today doing some a new type of video called Big Girl Talk. So today I want to rant about what I've been noticing. You know how you you oblivious to certain things and then one day you have an epiphany. So that's what happened to me recently. So I'm doing shopping like I always do. And I went into a new store. So the new store was called Mad Ray. And if you live here in Philly, then you know there's a couple of locations of Mad Ray. So if you're fortunate, sometimes the stores that sell truly trendy clothes, and that's the type of clothes Mad Ray sells, um, they might have a plus size section and I what my rant is what my problem is and what the epiphany came to be was every store unless that specific store is just plus size like Lane Bryant or Ashley Stewart or um, what's the rainbow plus unless that specific store is just for plus size Nine times out of ten, the plus size section is in the back of the store. And that, that I got a problem with that. I really got a problem with that because I am a paying consumer. I love to spend that cash. And I love wearing trendy clothes. And it's bad enough y'all might not carry my size. But if you do carry my size, I got to go to the back of the store to get it. I mean, what's up with that? And and yes, the epiphany came to me that not only most of the stores that I go to, but even my favorite store that I love, which is Dots, their plus size sections is in the back of the store. So, I'm going to run it down to you. Dots, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, um, Kmart, Target, Walmart, uh, Easy Pickens, Joy, well, Joyce Leslie don't carry a plus size. Um, Deb, all these stores, even Foreman Mills, all of these stores have the plus size section in the back of the store. And if they do have a plus size section, it is small as I don't know what. As if plus size people don't like to wear clothes. So I want you to take a look at some of my documentation. So I'm here in Forever 21 and I'm basically doing shopping like I normally do. They have a great selection of stuff. Um, however, this is one of the many stores that if they do have a plus size section, they hardly have one at all. Or it's just like this. Great clothing. Very nice. However, they do not cater to the plus size girls. Everything is like European cut, which is usually cut smaller, even though in the United States, half of the female population is a size 14 and up. So, this is just one example. Another store that is a European style store that does not cater to the plus size individual. They would not let me record on the inside, so I can record on the outside. So, yes, this is one of those, another store where they are not curvy girl or plus size. I'm going to show you the spans of this store. This store is Conway, and you see how massively big this store is, how big this section for women's clothing is. It's from that far wall to about right here. So right here is where the plus size section comes, like further back in the store. As usual, got the plus sizes. And even though the store is considerably big, believe it or not, their plus size section is considerably big compared to most stores. But once again, the plus size is in the back of the store. This is Nordstrom Rack. You know these are the higher end rejects at this store. Even at this store, the plus size section is in the far back against the wall where it says women's. Even the high end um, stores 
have their plus size sections way in the back. Sad. This is Mad Rag. I hope you can hear me. This is Mad Rag. This is another store, very trendy. There's a lot of stuff. And as you can see, I'm walking. Walking, walking, walking. You know where I'm walking? I'm walking towards the bed. Where the plus size stuff is. <laughs> so, I'm finally at the plus size. And there's about eight racks. No, make it ten. And a wall of stuff for plus size. So Joyce Leslie is another trendy store, but they do not carry a plus size section at all. And the largest size that they carry is large. So as you see, this is easy pickings, this is their plus size, and this is basically it. This is about eight racks in the center and a small wall. This is all they have for plus size in the back of their store. These eight racks right here is all that they have for plus size. And like I said, the stuff is in the back. So of course, Lane Bryan is a plus size store. All they carry is plus size. So. Um, front to back to the store is all plus size. So, what did you think? This is open for debate. I want all the plus size, the sexy girls, the curvy girls, the curvaceous girls, the chunky girls, whatever category that you put yourself in, I want you to think about it. The last time that you went shopping, I'm not talking about online shopping, I'm talking about went into a physical store to buy your clothing, where was the plus size section? I would love to know what your experience it was and what do you think about the plus size section always being in the back of the store unless it's specifically a plus size store and you know there's only like I could count on one hand how many plus size stores that is just for plus size women. I think this is crazy because I am a paying consumer. I love to shop. You know a girl loves to shop. And to have this kind of discrimination, we need to do something, y'all. Y'all need to tell me what we should do. So this is Love Week 2, a.k.a. your plus size fashionista, giving you something to think about on my first Big Girl Real Talk. Bye, guys.